What's up guys? So today let's talk about stowing or or uh, carrying your night vision, especially wearing kit or operationally or <clears throat> whatever you want to call it. Now, uh, the majority of people when, when I was in just kept it on their hel helmet, right? It was mount mounted and you didn't have to move it. Um, the majority of people would go ahead and just keep it there. And if they needed to take it off for whatever reason, which was rare for us, but occasionally it happened, uh, we just threw it in a pack. So I carried a pack with my water, snacks, um, ammo, extra stuff, uh, mission requirement stuff, especially like the Skedco and stuff like that when I had to carry that thing as a private too. So one of the things I would do is carabiner my night vision into my, my pack somewhere along those lines. Carabinering it in wasn't a hard deal and it was easy to do. There's nothing fancy about it and it worked out fine. It was it was not a bad, you know, option. But some of us don't carry packs and uh, of course some of us are rough on our packs, which you could tell I'm pretty rough on my equipment most of the time, so it's not the best route to go. Uh but it was issued, so fuck it, right? Now, with night vision, uh when you buy it yourself, <laughs> You don't want to be that rough with it. You want to take care for it. Uh, for me, right, we, we remember the old PVS-14, PVS-7 pouches that everything was issued in. Um, those are great. They do the job, but there's no padding or protection. It's just really just a wrap. And they work great for like just putting them into something bigger that's not a big deal um, or that you're not going to be rough with or anything like that. So it's not a bad pouch, but... It's not an optimal pouch, right? It's suboptimal in my opinion. When when it comes to night vision pouches, uh, TNVC just came out with theirs uh, recently and I've been messing with it. Uh, I kept my cookies in there. I kept my, my nods in there and definitely found that these these have been uh, very nice to have. It's, it's not a requirement in my opinion, but it is definitely a really nice nice item to have. Now, uh, both mine, I bought myself, uh, although I'm associated with TNVC, this isn't one of their videos, and this is not because, oh, they gave them to me or any of that stuff. These are both purchased by me from TNVC at full price because they didn't know I was buying them because I wanted to try them out and give my honest opinion. So with these pouches, one of my favorite things about them is that they have a two-tier system. So most, most NVG pouches, it's just you open it and it's a concave area and it's more clamshell style. And that's cool and all, but these have two sections of exactly that or, or more really. So one of the things that I like about them, we'll put this one aside for a second. Um, one of the things I like is this compression strap. So you can really compress this bad boy. And if you don't have a lot in there, you can get it really small. The other thing is it has two pockets. Right, so two big concave, or not concave pockets, but two two openings, if you want to call it that. So when you pop this off, you can see up here you have an opening. It's it's something I'll keep like lens pen batteries, uh, an actual cloth, and some cat crap. And then it has a pass through. You can see with this zipper into that pocket down there. The other thing that you'll see with this is that there's a third zipper, a really small one without a lanyard or without a pull. And that one is to actually expand the system. So expand the actual pocket so you can make it larger. So you could keep two sets of night vision or even three, depending on how you stow them uh, in here, which is pretty nice. So you have some options or you can compress it down and you don't have to worry about any of that, right? You could use it for one set and some tertiary equipment. The bottom portion, which is what I usually use, is for my DTNVSs. And these, uh, there's also like this little tiny mesh pocket underneath. And this mesh pocket can be useful for, for little things like lenses or caps or, or stuff like that. So my DTMVS is usually sitting here by themselves with my nerds and it's, it's nice and dark. It doesn't hurt them. Oops, sorry about that. Um, and now my, my pouch is set for use. Now, the other thing about these pouches is that they have this molly backing, so you can you could either route more shit on here, right, because that's always an option. You can weave more stuff on here, so you can weave like pens, the lens pen you could keep on the outside if you want to, things like that, battery compartments you can keep up out here, all that kind of stuff. So you could add more to this um, or add a separate pouch or connect them together for the ultimate night vision pouch. 
right? <laughs> but the other thing you could do is, let's say, routing this on a backpack, or if somebody wants to route it on their kit, which I'm not a big fan of keeping my night vision on my kit because I may roll over and break that shit. But putting it on a backpack, at least I have exterior access to it, which is something I'm, I'm pretty fond of, right? If I need it now, I want it now. Um, and what you could do at that point, if you're going to mount it like this, is you could take, if you have a nerd, you could take your nerd and you could stick it on top instead of having cool patches. You can stick it on top, use the double zipper to your advantage, right? Nice and easy. And then now when I keep it clipped on to a bag, and obviously I'd close this, you know, close this portion up, but I'd clip this onto a bag. And now if I needed to get to my actual night vision, so let's say it's on a bag and I open this bad boy, it opens up. And if it in inadvertently falls out, it'll just dangle, right? Because it's held by my nerd. Once again, why that thing is super important, not only for your helmet, but even for your night vision pouch. So giving you some more versatility with that, uh, with that nerd device that I made, the night vision elastic retention device. So with that, right, look at our other pouch. Now, this is the one that I'll use if I'm not taking like a helmet, right? So in this pouch, like I usually keep it pretty compressed because there's no need for it to be really wide or anything. In here on the top portion, I usually keep a cry cap all folded up and a mount. So then if I needed to, I can go ahead and put the system together. And then underneath, I keep my PBS 14, my nerd attached to that and batteries, right? So some double A's so that I'm not sitting there, you know, helpless. So that way I can go ahead, connect this bad boy up and then get some night vision done even without a helmet on. And it is super, super useful um, at that point where this one pouch holds all that equipment. So I'm actually night vision capable out of one little pouch. Uh, so something to think about there if, if you're looking at getting into more night vision stuff or figuring out how to store your shit. Uh, I have found that this is the best way where I can throw this in a bag. I could travel with it. I could attach it to a bag. I could do whatever I want with it. And I can carry everything I would need to quickly add night vision to my capabilities. Uh, whether I'm just walking around like, you know, hiking, right? And I take this on like a hunting or a hiking trip uh, and I want to do some movement at night. Or let's say I'm just, I'm traveling and I want to have night vision with me because like if you buy it, you might as well use it at any point you can. So that's just one of those those options that I like about this. So that's pretty much uh, the, the TNVC uh, PPE pouch right there. Uh, I believe they're available. Um, you'll have to check on their website and stuff because I'm not a salesman, so I don't know how to do that shit. But really, this is, this is one of those cool things that I think pouches come in handy, and it's actually multi-use and versatile. So I like, I like having options like this. So something to think about and, uh, and obviously carry your night vision in the safest possible way you can where it protects it and you have use of it. It's not like, uh, like putting them in a Pelican case like this are, in my opinion, isn't the best route because when you put them in a hard case like this, it usually is airtight. Now you can open the valve and stuff, but if there's moisture already because of nighttime and you put these night vision devices inside of a uh, airtight case or almost airtight case, what'll happen is that moisture will just stay there and you're going to have electronic or rusting or any kind of corrosion to your night vision devices based off of just not letting it air out a little bit. So if you do have a hard case already, no big deal. Just after you use your night vision, leave that bitch open overnight, right? Or for the rest of the night, once you're done um, with your night vision in there so that you're not holding all that moisture in there for your night vision. Uh, it could be detrimental to you, especially your battery sources, stuff like that. And obviously, when you store them for long periods of time, guys, make sure you take those batteries out like we've talked about in previous uh, uh, videos. So hope this helps. Take care.